My baby, my baby. Look at my baby. All right, we are rolling. You see me rolling. Hi, so I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about I Don't Know How To Be Fun, my song that I just released. So I Don't Know How To Be Fun is about not feeling comfortable at a party. Yeah, I don't know why, but I've always been very uncomfortable at clubs or parties. I don't usually go up to people at parties because I'm uncomfortable. Like I'm pretty introverted, so I usually don't talk to people uh, unless they talk to me. When people start talking to me, I'm fine. But when I have to start, I just like, I can't. And definitely not to dance. I don't go up to people to dance. So when I do enjoy something, I tend to stand back. Like not necessarily in a corner, but just not on the dance floor with like a drink and just watch other people. And then people usually think I'm not having a good time. I'm just vibing, you know? But anyway, when I went to parties and clubs and I see people dancing and laughing and having so much fun. I was like, why am I not feeling like them? Am I not fun? Maybe I don't know how to be fun. Why don't I not know how to be fun like them? So there you go, title drop. And also you shouldn't have to be thinking about if you're fun or not. Because when you're having fun, you're not thinking about having fun, right? You're just having fun. So I tend to think way too much at parties and clubs. I think about everything that I do. And it's not necessarily that I care about what people think, but I guess eternally I do. I wanted to write a song with that feeling and those emotions. Writing this song was weird, dude, because I don't remember writing it at all, like nothing. It was just suddenly there on my laptop. The only thing I remember is getting a guitar and playing the melody. So I got a guitar and I played the uh, na 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 that whole part. And I guess I just built the song from there. But I don't remember writing it. But then came the hard part, the production. When you write a song, you have, like, you have a song, right? You've played it on guitar or piano, whatever you write on, and you have lyrics. And then you have to build the song with like a producer or you do it yourself. I went to Stein. I also made That's Not You with him and I'm making my upcoming EP with him as well. I love working with him. And normally when I make a song, I go into the studio and I know exactly what I want. And for this song, I didn't know. It was kind of hard to see where I wanted to go with it and how heavy I wanted it to sound. Because I think in my head it started out as like almost like a punk song. So of course I play guitar. So I played some guitar in, in the song. The rhythm guitar that you hear is me. I love the sound of the guitars and like the live drums in the song. I feel like this song is like a perfect mix of live instruments and electronic sounds, which I love. I think we already spent like three days trying to record vocals, but I don't know what's wrong with it. It's just really raspy and normally that would sound pretty nice on the song, but it's just very unstable and it hurts. This just sucks because I want to do my best, you know, but I can't, so. So after a week of vocal rest, I'm back again um, and it's still not better. So we're just trying to get the best of it, but I have like an allergic reaction or something. So my eyes really hurt a lot and I'm literally, literally recording in the dark because I'm getting a migraine and shit. So this song, <laughs> it's going to be a special song because it takes a lot of effort. It makes me really insecure. So yeah, we just we just gotta keep going. And of course, I don't want to sound too depressing because the instrumental of the song sounds amazing. Uh, the drums are so cool, the guitars. I really love it. So it should turn out great. Let's just hope my voice will work with me <laughs> for once. Yeah, 
But then Stein sent the demos back and I was like, damn boy, I love that. It was amazing, I loved it. Every second of it, even my voice. I imagined like bad things, but it was, it was fine. It even, it sounded different, but it was like, it fit the song. So again, like I always do, I worried for nothing. You should stop that too. Stop worrying for nothing. Let's all just stop worrying for nothing because it ruins everything we do when things should be fun. So this song is not like all the other songs I released before, but it opened the doors of my imagination. Yeah, I personally listen to a lot of genres, so I get a lot of inspiration from different places, like bands like Paramore, singers like Avril Lavigne, Shawn Mendes, but I also listen to K-pop, BTS of course, Stray Kids, ATs, Mamamoo, all those groups and Hypen, they really influenced the sound that I wanted to have, especially for this song, because it just felt different when I wrote it and I wanted it to be something new. I've been looking for my sound since COVID started and that's not you kind of like changed my way of writing, but I was still looking for a sound that was more fitting for me. So I think this song really changed my future songs as well. Cause if I didn't write this song, the songs that I'm about to release wouldn't sound like they sound right now. So I'm very thankful for this song to come out. Anyways, the song has been out for a couple months now. We recorded a music video, which has its own behind the scenes if you want to see that and you didn't see it yet. It's been played on radio a couple times, like big radio stations here in the Netherlands. So I just want to say thank you for supporting the song and listening to it. And I see your messages. I see every message. I'm glad you guys seem to like it. I hope to see you next time because there's an EP coming, new single coming up. Can't tell you when, but yeah, stay tuned and I'll see you then.